We're going to come right onto our mat, starting in a child's pose. Bringing your knees as wide or as close together as feels good first thing in the morning. Big toes touch. Lengthen the body with an inhale. And then exhale, slowly walk the palms forward. Allowing the palms to lay flat on the mat. Forehead rests down. Presencing yourself to your mat first thing in the morning here. Allow the shoulders to soften. Allow the eyes to close. Jaw relaxes and tongue falls away from the roof of the mouth. Bring your focus to your breath, lengthening both the inhales and the exhales. Spread fingers wide and come up onto hands and knees on your next breath in. Walk the palms directly beneath the shoulders, knees directly beneath the hips. Using the flow of your own breath, we'll come into some cat-cows. Exhaling to press the spine up towards the ceiling, gaze towards belly button. And then using your inhale to drop the belly down, lift the tail, lengthen the heart forward, shoulders reach back. Exhaling to round. Use the flow of your own breath to move your body through these poses. Any place that feels extra good, feel free to just stop and breathe there. Make sure that your breath at the top and the bottom of each inhale and exhale is really smooth. Moving away from those shallow sleep breaths to long, deep, intentional breathing. Waking up through the lungs. The next time your belly's dropped, pause there and then send your gaze to the right hip bringing the left side of the body into a big curve, pressing the left ribs to the left as the gaze and the right hip press to the right. We'll inhale back to center, and then exhale curve to the other side. Right side body pressing to the right, gaze and left hip pressing to the left. On your next inhale, make your way back to center. From here, exhale, begin to walk the palms forward. If you've got a block or a pillow nearby, you might want to set it underneath your sternum or your breastbone to prop yourself up here in puppy pose. Ideally, hips stay right over the knees, toes can be hooked or unhooked, and your palms are as far apart or as close together as is available. The closer together your thumbs come, the more of an opening you'll feel across your shoulders. I always find it really important here to make sure I exhale completely, pressing out every last drop of air from my lungs, really opening up across the shoulder girdle. If at any point this doesn't feel good, you can come right to your child's pose. Full deep breaths in. Full deep breaths out. Stay soft through the jaw and the eyes. And on your next inhale, Begin to walk the palms back, coming back towards a tabletop position. Keep the left palm grounded. Inhale, right palm comes high. As we exhale, thread the palm between the left wrist and the left knee, coming all the way onto the right shoulder. Shimmy around until you feel an opening between the right ear and that shoulder. Left palm can stay in front of the face or extend it overhead to the top edge of your mat, fingertips on the floor. Again, stay or hook the left toes to the floor, lifting the left knee off the mat. Really thinking about drawing the body underneath, coming into a twist and a shoulder opener. On your next exhale, slowly release, pressing down through the left palm. Inhale, expand right palm to the sky. Engage through the core. From here, lift the left knee high, catching onto the top of the foot with the right thumb sticking up towards the sky. Press the foot into the palm, opening across the left psoas, waking up through the core and the thighs. As we exhale, release everything back down. Switching sides, inhale, left palm high. Exhale, thread the arm through, coming onto the space between the shoulder and the ear. Either stay here with right palm in front of the face, or walk the fingertips to the top edge of the mat, extending the arm overhead, bicep near the ear. Again, option to stay right here, 
or hook the right toes, lifting the right knee off the floor. Right foot is on the earth, still using those toes for traction. Breathe here. Each inhale expands and each exhale allows you to settle more deeply into the pose. When you're ready, bring the right palm back in front of the face. Drop the right knee if you've moved them. Inhale, extend left palm back to the sky. And exhale, bend the left knee, or sorry, the right knee, lifting it off the floor, catching onto the top of the right foot with the left palm. Opening across the left shoulder, activating through the abdominals, activating through the thigh, pressing the foot into the palm, inhale. And then exhale, release everything back to the floor, hands and knees position. Inhale here. Again, walk the palms forward to the front edge of the mat, coming back to our puppy pose. Maybe you notice as you're opening through the shoulders that you've got more space to drop the chest towards the floor. Press the palms down into the mat, breathing in deeply, exhaling all the air out. Stay right here with knees on the floor, or if it's feeling available, you can hook the toes and lift the knees of both legs off the floor. Inhale here, and exhale, release the knees down. Unhook the toes, bring the palms alongside the ribs, and bring, bring the heart forward into a locust position. Wrists are al alongside the body, palms flat on the floor. The heels of the hands are in line with the low ribs. Elbows reach back as we inhale, lift the heart. Continue to release the shoulders down away from the ear. Tips of the shoulder blades draw together. Exhale, release all the way down. Hands can stay where they are, left ear to the floor. Feel the tops of the feet on the mat. As we inhale, lift the heart again. Elbows reach together, shoulder blades reach together, so much so that the hands can easily just float a centimeter or an inch off the floor. Breathe in deeply, lift and exhale, release down, opposite ear to the mat. Release the palms to the low spine, clasping the hands at the base of the spine. Hug the heels of the hands together, exhale, hip bones down. Inhale, lift the heart, reaching the knuckles towards the heel. Tops of the feet can stay on the floor or lift them as well. Thinking length here, toes reach back, crown of head reaches forward, and then exhale, release all the way down. Bring the arms out into a T so that the wrists are just above where the shoulders are. Breathe here. Bring the right palm in front of the body and slowly press the torso to wrap over the extended left arm. Left palm is flat on the floor. Right shoulder is lifting off the mat. Right hip is lifting off the mat. Maybe the right foot lifts and steps onto the floor behind the extended left leg coming into a really juicy left front shoulder opener. Breathe here. Exhale. Full breath in. Exhale, slowly come back to center. Extend right arm wide. Left palm comes in front of the heart, gently rolling the body over the extended right arm now, opening across the right front shoulder. Find your ideal palm and foot variation, maybe stepping the left foot behind you. Full expansive breath in, full expansive breath out. Last inhale. And on our exhale, we'll slowly begin to roll back to center. From here, bring palms alongside the ribs, hook the toes, and inhale, come forward, upward facing dog. Shoulder blades come together and down, chin slightly tucked. And as we exhale, lift the hips up and back for our first and only downward facing dog of this practice. Spread fingers wide, weight behind the thumbs and the first fingers, breathing into the backs of the legs, feeling the length of the body. One long line of energy from crown of the head to the tailbone. 
inhale onto tippy toes. And as we exhale, walk feet to hands. Slowly or fast, whatever feels best. At the top, bring the feet nice and wide. Toes point out, heels slightly in, coming into Malasana. Lengthen the tailbone to the floor. Maybe you can put a block underneath the hips if you're not quite reaching the floor here. Or if that just feels more rejuvenating for you first thing. From here, right palm comes to the floor in front of the right knee, left palm extends to the sky. Option to stay here, or bend the left elbow, bringing the back of the left palm to the low spine. Again, option to stay, or wrap the right arm around the right knee, clasping the hands at the base of the spine. Inhale back to center, palm to palm at heart. Switching side, left palm to the floor, right arm extends. Maybe coming into the bind. Full breath in. Full breath out. Acknowledge that if you're practicing this first thing in the morning, it's okay if maybe you don't do things the way you might feel like you usually do them if you practice later in the afternoon. Come all the way onto a seat, bringing the soles of the feet together, knees wide. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale to very gently round the body forward. Each inhale lengthens. And each exhale relaxes you into the pose. Soften the jaw. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Breathe into the low back. Inhale, lift up. Scoot the heels closer into the pelvic bone. Soles of the feet together again. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale again, folding forward. Baddha Konasana. Breathe into the low spine. Breathe into the length of the spine. Each exhale allowing you to fold more deeply. Knees press wide. Full inhale, exhale, and inhale, rise back up. This time, scoot your feet extra far away from you, creating a large diamond from heel to pubic bone. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, round. Folding forward, bringing forehead towards the feet. Each breath in allows you to lengthen the spine, releasing shoulders towards the tailbone. And each exhale allows you to round the body further. Full breath in, coming all the way up. Scoot the hips to the center of the mat, lengthening both legs out in front of you. Preparing for a straight leg forward fold, inhale, both arms high. Exhale, folding over extended legs. If it feels more comfortable, you can soften the knees or bend them deeply if you need to, or you can separate the feet towards closer to the corners of the mat. Continue to relax the shoulder blades down the spine, lots of space between the ears and the shoulders. Each inhale lengthens. And each exhale allows you to deepen. Stay soft in the jaw and the eyes. Let go of any expectations you have for your poses. Let go of any judgment of where your body is. And simply be with what you are. You are perfect, exactly the way you are. Use your next inhale to rise all the way up. Coming all the way onto the spine, release down to the mat. Bring the left heel in towards the sits bone so the fingertips can just brush that left heel. Right ankle will cross over left knee, coming into a reclined pigeon. From here, you're gonna thread your right palm through underneath the right heel catching on to either the back of the left thigh, or if it's available, you can clasp the hands over the left shin. Flex both, toes, both sets of toes back towards the shins. Soften the tailbone down. Soften the shoulders. And on your next exhale, release the left heel back to the floor. On your inhale, we're gonna lift the hips for a one-legged bridge pose. Right hip heel is still hooked over the left knee, working towards keeping hips in one line. Shoulders press down into the floor, chin stays tucked, gaze directly overhead or towards your belly button. Exhale, release the hips down. With that same exhale, release the right foot all the way to the left, coming right into a supine twist. Left palm can catch on to the right knee, or arms can come into a T. 
gaze can stay towards the sky or towards either side of the mat. Breathing here. Inhale, come back to center. Release the right foot to the floor, switching sides. Left ankle hooks over right knee, pressing the left knee towards the bottom edge of the mat. Lift the right knee towards the body, clasping either onto the back of the right thigh or maybe all the way onto the right shin. Wherever you go, the toes are drawing back towards the shins. Shoulders are soft. Jaw is soft. Brain is soft breathing into the sensations of the body. Inhale. Exhale. Last breath in. As we exhale, release the right foot down to the floor. Preparing for our one-legged bridge, stack right knee directly over right ankle, arms alongside the body, and inhale to lift the hips high to the sky. Rooting down through the shoulders, engaging through the core, soften through the low spine. Find the hips to be in one line, gaze directly towards the sky or the belly button. Inhale. Full breath out to release the hips down to the floor. Take an inhale. And as we exhale, release the knee all the way over towards the right. Left foot is on the floor, still hooked over the right knee. Arms can come to a T, or right palm can come to the outside of that left knee, tractioning some twist into the, suit, into the spine. Rinsing out, breathe here. Soft through the jaw, soft through the face. Inhale back to center, releasing the feet. Bring the soles of the feet together with knees wide, edges of the feet on the floor for Supta Baddha Konasana. One hand to the belly, one hand to heart center. Breathing here. Let go of any effort and work and simply be here in your breath and your body. Stay soft through the jaw and soft through the eyes. You have the option to stay here in your Supta Baddha Konasana or allow the feet to come to the corners of the mat and release arms alongside the body, palms face up coming into our final resting pose of Shavasana. Gently lift the back of the skull off the mat, tucking the chin slightly. Lift the heart away from the floor, tucking the shoulder blades underneath you. Feet naturally fall out. Fingers naturally curl in towards the palms. Being here, effortless, deep. No expectations. On your next inhale, extend arms overhead, reach the toes away, coming into a full body yawn. And then exhale, draw the knees into the chest, giving them the most loving morning squeeze ever. When you're ready, roll over onto the left side of the body using the bottom arm as a pillow. with eyes still closed. In a moment when you're ready, we'll gently press ourselves up to a comfortable seated position on the mat. Feel both sits bones rooting down into the floor, lengthening the spine, gently tucking the chin, lifting the crown of the head. Palms together at heart center. And we'll close our practice with one om. Inhale. Aum. Thumbs come to third eye point. So we all say namaste.